Welcome to Unity of Wilmington's snapshot of holy days and holidays that are happening around the world in different cultures and in different traditions. My name is Reverend Mindy Tucker, and I'm here to share those with you on behalf of the Unity Movement, because as a spiritual movement, Unity recognizes that there is one light that unites us all, and in Unity we call that one light, divine mind, we call it God. On November 1st, we begin by looking at All Saints Day. It's a Christian holy day coming out of the Catholic tradition in which the Catholics believe, and many Christians believe, that some human beings have transcended their humanity in a way that allows them to serve God and to serve others in a miraculous way. The 1st of November is also a very important time in the Wicca tradition or pagan faith. It's called Sowen, and what it what this day means, it's a part of a harvest festival, but it also means that they believe that the veil is thinner between the living and the dead, and we have an opportunity for a closer connection of those who have come before us. The 2nd of November is All Souls Day. So now in the Christian tradition, we're honoring anyone and everyone who's ever lived. In Christian churches, very often it's a practice to light a candle for a loved one or someone you're remembering. In Mexico, the way this is celebrated, and now in Hispanic communities around the world, it's called Dia de los Muertos, and it's the Day of the Dead. Altars are built with pictures of people who, friends, loved ones, who have passed already, and in honor of them, we cook their favorite foods and and put things that were important to them or treasured by them. So giant altars, both from originally from Christian traditions. November 11th in the United States is Veterans Day. In the United States, we have 18 million people who have served in the United States Armed Forces. On Veterans Day, we thank those 18 million people for their service in giving us the freedom that we enjoy today as well as the people who supported them in defending our country. Then the 14th of November is a Hindu festival called Diwali. It's the festival of light. It's about how we are drawn to light. We are drawn to be good. Diwali is a time where family and friends get together and there are fireworks. There are all kinds of ways to celebrate the light festival in Hindu tradition. November 26th is Thanksgiving Day in the United States. This also started as a harvest festival, but now in traditional Thanksgiving dinners with friends and families, or even if you do it solo in 2020, I imagine that you will find some foods that are native to the Americas. Turkey, cranberries, turkey, cranberries, and some other really yummy things like potatoes. Yes! All of those things. In my family, we grew up playing games like dominoes and watching football on Thanksgiving Day. Advent begins on November 29th, and in the Christian tradition, that's when we are preparing for the birth of Jesus. In metaphysical traditions now, we consider it preparing for a greatest, greater awareness of our own Christ's light. So it begins a very holy time, a very conscious time of preparing for a more spiritual experience. It goes all the way through December 24th. Guru Nanak's birthday is November 30th. He was the first of the gurus in the Sikh tradition. He shared this wisdom, as reflection is within the mirror, so does your Lord abide within you. Why search for him without and that is also reflective of our unity beliefs. God is within. Our expression of God begins with us. In the United States, National Novel Writing Month. In fact, there's a challenge to write a novel in the month. You start on the 1st, you end on the 30th, and there's support online if that's something that interests you. It is National Adoption Month. 
There are many children who are looking for permanent families. Yours may be one of them, or you may be one of those adopted children who has been blessed with a permanent family. And finally, it's National Gratitude Month. I was surprised to read the description of National Gratitude Month because it is pure spiritual principle how gratitude supports our very way of being and how gratitude is a natural way for us to express our divine nature, our generosity, our love, our wisdom, our joy, our peace. It all comes from the practice of gratitude. In the United States on the 2nd, it is deviled eggs day. We happen to like deviled eggs. On the 7th, it's S-T-E-A-M day, which stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Mathematics. It's an emphasis on the education that is relevant for our young children growing up and coming through the educational process today. The 19th is Play Monopoly Day. <laughs> I don't know what kind of memories that has for you, but I learned some very important lessons playing Monopoly. The 27th is Black Friday. The 30th is Cyber Monday. December 1st is Giving Tuesday. All ways for us to participate in generosity, in gratitude. Because let me tell you, when we do Black Friday or Cyber Monday, we are being generous with ourselves and our friends. Thank you for being who you are in the world. Thank you for tuning in to the diversity events for November 2020. Know that you are loved beyond measure in whatever expression of holiness that you have come from and where you are going. God bless you.